been a good few years since I've been here. Hmm, what has it been? Yeah, it must be three or four, it seems longer. Only Dulles. That is Only Dulles. Only Dulles. I've never seen it so, so little of it. Here I am at Trice Ligwe, trying to uh, pick a spot where there's least surface because I don't want to get drenched that way out because I got cold last time out. Surprisingly lively out here, you wouldn't have guessed it being stood on shore and I've had a look through the binoculars. By God, it is lively here. I'm in this smooth bit here now where the tide is. There's some bloody lively water out here. This is nowhere near as bad as it is. It just seems like you get to a line out there and then that's it, you hit it. It's like this it's like wind on tide, but there's no tide, uh, no wind. I'm about what half a mile, three quarters of a mile offshore. Look at these waves just rolling. <coughs> Sorry. Wow, look at that view out there now, oh, Christ. Sunglasses on job. Well, well, I never. <clears throat> okay, from the left, Great Arms Head, moving inland, Puffin Island, uh, Black Point over there, coming further in, in uh, closer to me is Moilver Island. And then out there is the Snowdon Range. Look at that, what an absolutely amazing day. If I can keep still. Go on, throw some big waves at me now. There's Moilver. I'm struggling to see the viewfinder on the, on the camcorder. I'm really struggling in this light. There's Puffin Island. My God, this is absolutely fantastic out here. Well, I've got a purr, a conference purr somewhere in my, uh, in my day hatch. And all I could find was a Melton Mowbray pork pie. That'll have to do. And then when I finish with that, I might tuck into a bit of Tobler on my Tobler. Just listen to that. 10 past 12. Lunch time. Just listen to that silence. Fabulous. Oh, yes. Well, there's the beacon. There's the island, and it's Dulas. Onis Dilas. Christ, it's a right tongue twist. Unis Dilas. Here they are. No, these are not big. Not bigger ones than this. These are... No, they're mediocre then. A couple of really big ones. This one's fairly big. Yeah. Fair to middling. Fair to middling. Now look at that. It's been flat like glass all along, just as I'm getting up to it. It's affected, look at that now, I can feel wind. Just in this area. And it's blowing on my face, which I'm facing north, I'm facing dead north here now. It's supposed to be from the southeast today. Oh, I don't like this, it's all ripply now, water, it's ripply. Well, I don't know if this wind's got up since I've been here or it's localised, but... It's definitely, whew, it's like a northeasterly, it's a bit of cold wind. I'm not too bad, I'm still warm yet. Well, look at that tide, it's absolutely boiling through. There's a reef there as well, somewhere it'll show in, a, in about another hour or so. So it's boiling over a reef there, very shallow. There's a shag right on top of the beacon, look at that. King of the castle. Wow, 
Matt would have loved it here today. My God, it smells of guano here. There's a strange triangular piece there. I wonder if it's fell off the top or something. It seems uh, a bit out of place there. Oh, I'm in the most awkward spot here. Come on! Try to keep it still on him. Jesus! I wonder if that's him. That bloody roll one's cut in from round his neck. He must be choking him. He's got two of them. Well, right south of down coming here today. Rough it gets rough out there. By the header. It's rough on that seaward side as well. Oh, he's landed back on King at Castle, the shag on the top of the dirty rascal. All the action's usually on the other side, on the seaward side, but it's... There's no way of going around there. This place is actually an outcrop of um, Great Orm's Head, really. It's that same limestone as Great Orm's Head. Jesus, that's written me. Where did you come from? Completely se separate bit of geology from the Anglesey mainland. Mainland. What is this? What's breathing behind me? Look at that, the classic shag pose. There's the tip of the reef there now, just showing. Look at that for the view. Absolutely sensational. Ooh, you can see them coming through seals, they're not that turbo charged. Can you hear them breathing behind them? When you turn around, they've gone. Here's an example. Look at this one here. He's just come through tide race. What's it like, mate? Can I paddle against it or what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll get through that. I'll not get through that. He'll get through it. Oh, I can land here now. Look at that. Sudden buster speed, what I need. Sudden buster strength. Look at that, Matt, if you'd have come, you could have been surfing on them waves. Look at that, they're perfect for it. There you go, made it round to the lagoon. Whoa! Thought oh, that bird was going to hit me then. Yeah, uh, then. Yeah, you forget how good these places are. Oof, tide going through here. Look at that view. I mean, look at that. Sun glinting on your paddle. Come on, son, glint on my paddle. Jesus Christ, it's rough out there, I'll tell you. overview of the bird life on Unis de las.
got to go and look at this lighthouse. I've always wanted to. Look at them in surf there. <laughs> they love surfing through that gap. Well, I was wanting to do this, and now I'm going to do it. Or am I? I bet it's harder than you think for it get to. I came, I saw, I conquered. By God, it's even, I've got even more respect for this place now. Look at it. It's just a rocky ridge of, whoa, limestone. Well, this looks like a well-worn path to me. I don't know if it's humans or... <laughs> Somebody's getting a bad throat. Sounds like a maritable, uh, a marital disagreement. It says, it's hard to say, this tower was erected AD 1824 by Colonel James Hughes as a beacon or place of refuge to the shipwrecked. Well, I've been here a few times and I've never seen that front sea. What a fantastic piece of human endeavour. Yeah, that's what it's all about, being human. A community like that. Well, I'm going to go in. I'm going to to dawn the Des Res. I'm expecting a bloody bird fuck come flying out and knock me for six. Night. Night. Christ almighty. Oh, well, did you guess that? Somebody's got the nest in here. King Cormorant, I reckon. It's like a church tower. I can see right through to the top, look at that. Whoa, look at that, how it's hanging on. <laughs> One's already fell. That was some while ago now. Look at the detritus. By God. Well, that was well worth coming, Foxy. And now about the view from outside. What about that? How about living there? It's got the same stripes as a thrush. But smaller. Now then. Step outside to that view. What about that? Yeah, I'm not coming out today. I'm stopping in, all right. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Look at Point Linus Lighthouse over there. That's Point Linus. It's amazing to spend the night in there. I bet you'd be haunted by seals and that. You'd have to bring your boat right up here because I'll tell you, at High Water Springs, it's right up to here. I don't think you'd get any sleep. Just look at the, the seaward side of it, it's usually the quietest, it's usually the calmest. Look at it there today. Oh, you missed a good one here, Matt. You'd have loved it here. You might not have loved a broken ankle that way back though. Oof, I'm going to have to be careful going back now. How the hell have they ended up here? Mum's gone to Iceland, I think. Look at them. Well, they've come out of Asda. Quite a few of them. Don't know why they've not ate them. It's amazing what you find. 
tell you what you would find if you fell down there. Queenie General Hospital, I think. For a quite a long stretch. Feels like an audience at a concert. What do you want me to sing? The Irish Rover. A sea shanty. That's what the tide was running over before. That was causing all the grief. Oh, I forgot my little stool off market for two quid. Mm. What a place for our dinner. Sorry, luncheon. Lunch on. You know, about ten minutes in. I'm probably sat in his spot. I'll not be long, lad. I'll have this cup of tea and then I'll go. Can't wait for me to go, can you? Eh? It's all yours. The island's all yours again. For another, whew, what is it, three years since I've been? I'm going there, it's all yours. Look at that view. What time is it now? 3.15. Perfect. Oh my God, you cannot beat the sea kayaking like I'll tell you. There's nothing like it. Set the control to the heart of the sun. Whoa. Trying to keep still. There it is. Cracky, look how much that tide's dragged me this way. Choppy up here, man, and spoiled a good day. It's not spoiled it, but. 